Thank you. Since when do you eat hot dogs? Since uh, my wife left me for a nutritionist. It's payback time. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you see the way that woman looked at you? What woman? What woman? <laughs> Same Ben Madigan who ordered a hot dog a minute ago? Because that guy had moved on. That guy was ready to take. <laughs> that guy isn't even officially divorced yet. It's only been a couple of months. Yeah, that. I'm telling you as your friend and business partner, it's time to get back in the loop. <laughs> What's the rush? Is the loop closed? Oh, who knows? I can't get anywhere near the loop. I was hoping to sneak in as your guest. <laughs> Serious, if I had your looks and that Irish Spring accent, how about drinks tonight? Whiskey Park. I can't. I've got my son staying with me. I've only got him three nights a week, and I really want to make it count. Well, that's important, too, I guess. But let me just say that I met twins last night, Ben, and I was going to set you up. We were going to double date. Did you ask them out? I was just going to let you do that. <laughs> Just doing our homework. So I say, got a little geometry in your cheek there. Hi, Mr. Madigan. I'm Daria from down the hall. Hi. You said to meet the neighbors. <laughs> it's a big building. Face yourself. I should get going. My mom probably ordered dinner already. Bye. Bye, Daria. Oh, Bailey, go out in the closet. We haven't lost a single coat since we took you in. <laughs> did, did you, uh, did you listen to these messages? I was kind of busy. Hey, Luke. It's Crystal Stanfield. Crystal Stanfield's calling me? I broke up with Josh, and I don't want to be alone tomorrow night. Want to see a movie? Call me. <laughs> I'm going out with Crystal Stanfield. No, you're not. We got tickets to The Lion King. <laughs> God. Come on, it's supposed to be a great family experience. I'm too old for that, Dad. You want me to bought the tickets? <laughs> Is it so terrible to spend a little time with your dad? Hmm? Hello, Benji. This is your father, Seamus Madigan. Oh, thank God, I missed that. Call. <laughs> I have a surprise for you. I'm at John F. Kennedy Airport. Oh, good. <laughs> Are you there? You're probably working. You're always working. If the knitter is weary, the baby will have no new mother. What does that mean? It's uh, Gaelic. For guilt? Guilt? Guilt. <laughs> Did I mention, uh, this is your father, Seamus Madigan. <laughs> Excuse me, would you mind if I, if I went in, in front of you? I, I'm Benjamin Madigan, that's gate 72. Gate 72, Benjamin Madigan. I'm, I'm extremely late. You're, uh, sure, go ahead. Thank you. Thank fine, you. fine, he's the only one who's in a hurry. <laughs> Got to give you my keys. Coins, jewelry. Oh, I just reached for my wedding ring. I don't wear it anymore since I'm... Uh... Shortening my lifespan! All right, I'm sorry. Try taking off the bill. Yeah, but I draw the line at the pants, okay? <laughs> Oh, thank God, I'm not a terrorist. What? No, no, that was a joke. <laughs> I know you're not supposed to joke about that. No, I'm, 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 I'm leaving. Thank you. Thanks. That was quite an ordeal. Yeah, God, I, I, I thought for a minute there I'd have to take out some fillings. <laughs> Listen, you're Benjamin Madigan, the architect. I have to tell you, I am a big fan of yours. You are incredibly talented. Yes, I am. I, I mean, I'm not Benjamin Madigan. Anymore. Oh, oh. <laughs> Thank you. Well, it was, uh, it was really nice chatting with you. Yeah, if you know, I'd love to chat with you some more. Can I give you my card? Well, uh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Sure, I don't have one on me. I could, uh, could give you a belt. <laughs> I could give you a belt. 
a body could die waiting. Well, are you going to give me a hand or, or will you be chatting up more women? Hi, Dad. Good to see you, son. Is that what you were in school? Yep. Your father used to dress like that. But that's because we were poor. I'll, uh, I'll see you this afternoon, okay? I'll be here. Hi, son. We'll talk later. Uh, you were the same way when you were his age. You had no time for me. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Dad, I've got to go to work this morning. Will, will, will you be okay by yourself? I'll be fine. It's, it's a wonderful apartment. You know, I was out there on the terrace this morning. It's grand out there. Me undershirt dried in less than an hour. You hung your undershirt outside? Sure. Where do you hang them? I don't hang them anywhere. My housekeeper does my laundry. Housekeeper, is it? Uh, the nice man downstairs in the uniform, what does he do? He's the doorman, Dad. A good horse pulls his own cart. <laughs> My son doesn't even open his own door anymore. Well, what exactly do you do for yourself? Dad, there are so many things I do for myself. Oh, sorry, I didn't know anyone would be home. No, that's okay. Come on. <laughs> well, who's that? The dog walker. <laughs> Alex, did I mention I met a woman at the airport? You met someone? Yeah, and I got her card. That's a leap into the loop, if ever there was one. <laughs> did you call her yet? I will, when I'm ready. She can't wait that long. <laughs> I can't wait that long. <laughs> Can we get to work, please? Wendy, would you come in here, please? Yes. Ben met a woman at the airport. Uh, how long should he wait to call? This is really unprofessional. No, house. I'm really good at this. When were you thinking of calling? Uh, I don't know, in a week, when my dad leaves town. A week is a year in woman time. <laughs> See, after a week, she will have gone through so much emotional turmoil that it is possible when you finally do call, she will hate your guts. True. I was once berated by a woman I was asking out to dinner just because I hadn't called in a week. Had you slept with this woman by chance? Yes, but I stayed the whole night and I cuddled. <laughs> you didn't call her? I was calling then. I'm afraid it's too late for your friend here. So we might be able to help you. You should call the airport woman today. Maybe this is fate. I thought the rule was to call after a couple days so you don't seem desperate. Only desperate men worry about seeming desperate. He can call anytime. He can call collect. 